ADHD is more than just an attention challenge. It can show up in so many different ways to create struggle in a person's life. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, and I want to share some information about the dysfunctional, dysregulated brain pattern behind ADD and ADHD and the struggles that can come out of it and the solutions to improve the situation if you find that you're struggling in the ways that I'm about to talk about. This video comes about because I talked with one of my clients who reflected on the fact that he now realizes how much ADHD has limited him across his lifetime. And actually, he's grieving to a significant extent, thinking about all the things he could have accomplished had he regulated his brain much earlier than the work that he's doing with me in his 50s. So this is a gentleman who he was recalling that even in grade school, it was difficult for him to attend. He had to be held back a grade. It created a lot of social issues for him. It created some bullying because he had hyperactive behaviors. Then moving into adulthood, college was difficult. Getting a job was difficult. Being able to go to work and not procrastinate was challenging. His life had been kind of set up in a way that was made for even more challenge because he wasn't able to get outdoors ever. He wasn't able to move his body. So now in his 50s, when he had a brain map and I was able to show him definitively, yes, you have the biomarkers for ADD in your brain. The biomarkers are something that's called a theta to beta ratio. Theta is the slow speed, slow processing speed in your brain. Beta is the fast processing speed. And if you struggle with ADD or ADHD, that theta to beta ratio, the gap is wider than it is for the optimal brain pattern. In the optimal brain pattern, there's not a big gap. There's not too much slowing. And at the same time, not enough fast processing speed. That's what happens in ADD. There's a big gap between slow and fast, and that can make it difficult to attend. It creates procrastination. It can be difficult to be motivated. It can be difficult to use executive function skills like planning a project and taking the small steps towards it. So it can really wreak havoc on a person's life. Reflecting back now that he had the brain map, he saw the theta to beta ratios, then he signed up for professional neurofeedback coaching with me. I was able to help him use the technology, shift his brain into a new mode, close that gap. And in closing that gap, he's better able to focus. He's better able to show up in his relationship. His relationship with his kids has improved. His work's improved. His everything has improved. That's why he's now thinking, I was at a loss for that my whole life. And, you know, it's okay to grieve that, but also today's the first day of the rest of our lives, all of us. So we have the opportunity to take a healthier, optimal brain pattern and to create the future in front of us by optimizing our brain and then keeping it in that optimal place. That's what neurofeedback brain training can do. So if you're struggling with ADHD symptoms and you don't know what to do about it, the first step is to have a QEG brain map. It will show you what is at the core of your focus and attention issues. It will. And from there, you can make a plan to be able to use brain training at high top tier levels or also at lower entry level, a gateway, a way for you to get in to start doing it. It will help you. Brain training is a way to move your brain in the optimal direction. Lately, I've been doing research and um, one really interesting thing that I found is that I'm trying to close the gap for people between surviving and thriving. In the middle is a state of striving and all the research shows that striving is good for your brain and your well-being because you know you're taking steps to move yourself out of surviving and suffering towards thriving and creating the life that you want. Striving, even if you stay there for a long time, is so much better than surviving. And when you get into striving, your brain continues to optimize and you keep evolving and keep moving towards self-actualization of becoming the person that you've always wanted to be and you deserve to be using an optimal brain pattern. So if you want to know more, please go over to drtrishlee.com. I would love to be part of your journey. And until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.